Hotel probably. Machete? Yeah. Machete, they, they are in the same building, but. I wish I can show you guys how I look like that. Right now, but I'm very tired. <laughs> I'll see you guys when we get the suit. I'm just going to take ourselves out. Take us out. So today we just decided to come and just sample, if you can say, sample a new restaurant. Yeah. So far I think I sampled like three. Three and out of the three, one was my favorite. Just because of the customer service. So I want to try this one out. We are at Cox and Fox just gonna be here for a while killing time because we have an event later in the evening so yeah I don't want to make it a long vlog I want to like make like snippets of yeah like I want to wanna learn to vlog like the panda <laughs> so yeah churros green it's like it's like um me say cozy kim that's that's the vibes it's giving so yeah and the dates and the vibes again yeah. i just decided to go for green juice because I haven't had something green in a while and I need it so yep let's drink to that it's, it's important that you just take yourself out guys with the little money you have go and enjoy you don't know maybe you'll die Tomorrow, hmm? then you at least died enjoying. We have a kitty party, we have a kitty birthday party. Baby girl, yeah. but give me another drink because my green juice is finished. She's still sipping on her lemonade. Catch you guys when the food comes. We just came. Oh, it smells. I can't wait to devour this. Mm. Guys, no, I wanna ask you guys. Do you guys eat pizza with forks or just with hands? Yeah. Because I feel like the easiest way is just to grab one slice yeah. like this. Mm. Look at the person who's defeated by the bowl of pasta. Oof. <laughs> pasta one, the girl Oof, zero. Zero, my dear. <laughs> I threw. I agree. Well, I am almost done with my pizza. That was very good, though. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm, the cat will not do anything to you, please. Oh, Korum Bishon. Mm It's 
skyscrapers. <laughs> Yeah, we seen the institute of open learning. <laughs> yeah, it's... we're here for the open mic thingy starting up already at 19:30, so we're very very early. But yeah, it's okay. Home with my God, my ancestors, and myself. Who defines us? Societies, yes, yet in complex ways, I yearn to stress. At first they told me that I did not look black enough for a white man to like me. They said, according to society, my physical classification was that I was too pretty and back then my hair was not nappy. They said I smelled like DKNY instead of a war-torn country. That my fluent tongue carried underneath it a mountain of South hate, a cheap imitation of their white mates. And yet, I've never worn makeup and I never hid my scars. But this was during the dark days, you know, the dark phase of poet Diane Jenga Pita when they're outraged. But now, the waters of the Nile River. It's still I am confined by society's lines when I remain unmoved by a blonde haired white man with blue eyes. After a movie at FNCC, my natural haired sister tells me that a, a black man is not the one I should see. She says, No, he is a waste of my creativity, my sensuality, that he will not even appreciate this precious part within me nor comprehend my mental capacity. My weed-loving sisters say he'll cheat on you anyways with a string of side chicks in Walker's Bay. <laughs> they have nicknamed him a, a fuck boy, a killer, a savage, sometimes an educated thug with the heart of a drug dealer. They say the black man is abusive. A nuisance, so please find you a good white man with that scholarship in Finland. Never mind that we'll still see his mum, Kay. We'll commend our son for taking his degree in zoology seriously. Seriously? Even the news outlets have proven to be the black man's enemy. Are you all trying to tell me that the last good black man the last one in the city? For the sweet teeth, for the sick teeth. Oh, don't. 
bread though. Oh, already ready made for the lazy, for the lazy wives. This is for the lazy wives. Yeah. The normal flavor. Cupcakes. Look at me. One of these things. Yeah, well, what do you mean? I think. But I need red meat must now. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> There's no meat in the house. Bread corner. How much is this pita bread here? This one vegan. Story of my life, eh? I have to read everything. I think so. They are vegan, but how much? Yeah, this is it's it's to be like this. It's, yeah, it's more like bread. It's more like those, uh, roasted yeah, roasted brookies. I don't know how much this one's. Uh, I want them. No. I'll just warm, it's just warm. I got a spoon. There's no bread then. We need some bread. I think the way I eat it is very expensive because don't let them fool you. <laughs> My butter is not even here.
It's a wholesale. Let me get some stuff real bad. Here. Cushions. And this one's. This is like really good. Instead of the ones at home that are like seven, eight hundred dollars for. I should come and get myself stuff for me. They're pillows. Hundred percent cotton covers. We love cotton. So guys, I come back. <laughs> like it's literally two weeks after you, after I filmed the video you're watching. So I'm just here to end it because I realized I didn't do an outro for it. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy watching this video please do not forget to forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below let's have a conversation in the comment section subscribe as it helps with the growth of my channel and also the likes up you know that that thumbs up thing it really tells YouTube that you guys are engaging with my channel it helps it um, get send out to people all over the world so i love i really really like if you guys give the thumbs up so without what am i even saying ciao ciao <laughs>